welcome to this In Your Corner video. My name is Tom Conley, and I'm an applications engineer for DP Technology, the makers of Esprit CAD CAM software. In this video, I'd like to show you how we can take advantage of the process technology inside of the knowledge base, specifically the pre-populated part types. In this video, we'll see how to implement processes already developed, then modify and tailor these processes to our specific needs. Implementation of these strategies can result in more consistency between programs, reduced opportunity for user error, and reduction in programming time by eliminating repetitious programming of standard features. Let's enter the knowledge base and explore the process technology. Here inside of the knowledge base, we'll select process technology and see our part types. Today, we're gonna to explore milled part standard inch. You can see we have inch and metric versions for many machining types. Here, let's first explore this countersink. If you select a P-top inside of a spree and it finds this recognition rule to be true, Esprit has the opportunity to apply these operations to your selected feature through the process manager. Let's take a look at this pocket feature folder. If you select a pocket feature folder, it follows the initial recognition rule and finds it to be true. It has the opportunity to either apply this pocketing with a rough and finish, or this pocketing series with a rough rest material and then a finishing operation, depending on their own specific recognition rules. All right, let's see how this is performed. Opening my sample part, I first need to make sure that my knowledge base document setup is referencing the correct part type. We can do this on the common machining toolbar underneath my knowledge base document setup. This needs to be set before we create features, and I'm going to set it to milled part standard inch. Okay, so let's begin creating some features for ourselves. First feature I'm going to create is a facing feature. Then let's go ahead and create our pocketing feature. Then we'll go ahead and create the feature for our holes. Excellent. Once these features are created, we can explore the properties window. Under the properties window, you'll see we have knowledge base. And due to the recognition rules set in our process technology, Esprit has appropriately associated all of these features with the correct part types. So let's select the features in the order that we'd like them to be processed in, move to the common machining toolbar, and over to the process manager. Here, our recognition rules are associating the appropriate features with the correct operations. You'll see our pocketing operation is going to be a rough and then a finish. Let's go ahead and apply these operations and see what the result looks like. Once the operations have been processed and applied to the features, we can escape out of the process manager and explore the features and operations. One important thing to note is that due to the rules inside of the operations, Esprit has automatically imported the correct tools for those operations as well. So let's go ahead and run through simulation and see what the final state of this part is going to look like. Perfect, that's exactly what we're looking for. Let's see if we can use these same recognition rules and processes to program an entirely different part. Exploring our second part, we'll first need to ensure that we're referencing the correct process technology part type. That can be done on the common machining toolbar underneath the knowledge base document setup, and I'll set part type to my milled part standard inch. And again, this needs to be set before we begin creating features. So let's go ahead and build our features. First, I'll we'll create a facing feature and then I'll go and create a pocketing feature and then use the whole recognition command to generate any holes. We can see in the properties window that Esprit has appropriately associated these features with the part types. So we'll select these features in the order we'd like Esprit to process them in and move on to the process manager. We can see that Esprit has chosen the appropriate operations based on their recognition rules. Here, we're doing a roughing and then a rust material and then a pocketing finish operation. Let's go ahead and click apply and see how our results look. Once the toolpath has been generated, we can escape out of the process manager and explore our features and operations. Excellent. Let's see how this will look after it runs through simulation. Perfect. But let's say that our company standards have changed. Because Esprit 2016's pocketing operation now has the option to be stock aware, we can effectively replace rest machining operations with a stock wear pocketing operation that has a smaller diameter tool. So let's say we want to reflect these new company standards inside of our knowledge base. We're going to go to our common machining toolbar, move on to our knowledge base manager, and explore the process technology. 
I'm going to modify the node part standard inch, but I don't recommend that you do. Please create your own company standard as the node part standard inch and other Esprit defaults may be reset upon the next installation of Esprit. But for example's sake, let's explore how we can modify these defaults. So let's say that we're going to remove this press machining operation and replace it with a new pocketing operation that's stock aware. This needs to be reordered so that it will rough and then rest pocket and then finish pocket. Let's see if these changes have taken effect inside of a spree. We need to reprocess these parts through our process manager. And this time we'll see that yes, the pocket is now doing a rough rest pocketing and then finish. Let's go ahead and apply these operations and see what our end result looks like. Great, we'll escape out and see how the simulation looks in its final state. Perfect. If you have any questions about our knowledge base and how it can help with your programming needs, please contact your local salesman or visit us at espreecam.com. Thank you for your time and stay tuned for new videos coming out soon.